Where do we lose? Where do we lose the, the amount of machine works? Think about friction. Friction, right? Click it. So mechanical efficiency is how well can that machine overcome friction? If it can overcome it really well, it's doing awesome. If it can't, not going to do so much. Yeah. Next. Wheel and axles. Plain and simple. What do we got? Oh, wheel and an axle. Don't have just a wheel. Oh, I Wheel and axle. What do we got, Steven? Um. Oh, look at um. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um. I'm trying to think. Like you twist it like a bicycle. Roderick. Okay. Yeah. Bicycle driver. Roderick, go. Go. Like the motor part thing you have a bicycle. Okay, we're still talking. Click on it. Two circular objects of different sizes. One's obviously bigger. Click the next one. One, the axle's going to be smaller than the larger. Okay. Output force is always going to be greater than the input force. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, what does that mean? Input force is greater than the input force. So, what does that mean? You get more out than you put in. Alright? Next. You go back one. The larger the radius, remember the radius is like the circumference. Radius is half a circle, right? The greater the mechanical advantage. Right? Next. Notice how the axle is smaller than the wheel itself. Therefore, when I rotate the wheel, this moves more. Faster. Yeah. Next. Relax. Relax. Okay. A doorknob, something you deal with all the time. The axle's in the middle, the wheel's on the outside. I said a doorknob. But is a um is a weight a wheel and an axle? No, because it doesn't spin. The weight needs to spin. If you picked up a dumbbell and the wheel was spinning on it, yeah. Wait, what if what if those things at the edge are soldered to the edge? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If it's not soldered on, yeah, that's considered a wheel. Yeah. yeah. If that has anything to do with anything, yeah. Inclined plane. What's the simplest definition of an inclined plane? A ramp. A ramp. Is the ramp crooked? No. Yeah. Yeah, a ramp is crooked itself. No, no. Go ahead, It's a straight, slanted surface. All right. For someone who may be handicapped, do you think they'd be excited if they came up to a ramp that looked like this? No. <laughs> Would they be excited if their ramp looked like this? Yes. Yeah. No. The top one. The top one would be excited. Like that because it's like a ride. No. They want to Unless go up. you crash into a car. Knock down. I'm talking about going up, not down. Oh! We. Oh. All right, next. I've got those little. I'm uh, falling and I can't get up. Can you go back one? <laughs> the same amount of work is done over a longer distance. Basically, you're just stretching it out. Okay, it's still the same height that that box has to get to, but if I make it nice and long and shallow, it's going to be much easier to do. All right, next. A wedge. What is it? After we just talked about inclined planes, what's a wedge? A triangle. I didn't do that. We got a lot of stuff to do. I didn't do that. Made up of two inclined planes. I already knew that. So, what are the three things that a wedge can do? You can shove and split, open, close. Go ahead, click them. A wedge is a leg. It's made up of two inclined planes. A wedge can push things apart. A wedge can A wedge can cut. And a wedge can puncture or make a hole. Wait, is a needle like yes. a wedge? Okay. Yes. Which one? Hold on a second. Click. 
All right, anybody chops a piece of wood before? I have. Have, oh, you, yeah. noticed, <laughs> it was a nice. have you noticed that when you split a log, that the V goes down much deeper than the actual X? Yeah. yeah. That's because the wedge pushes it apart at the top. Yes, sir. Okay, what's the benefit of the wedge pushing it apart at the top? If you don't well, have, have as much effort, work. Like, like effort. Effort. Or what's it have, like, less 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 work. Less time. Less work. Less work because oh, you don't have to push it down hard. as far it as it allows it. It rips it open basically. Next. Yeah, no. Alright, a knife. We know that a knife can cut. We know that it's got a sharp blade that splits Why? and gets wired to the top. Is that butter? Why is that a little Screen like it splits and punctures? <laughs> and a needle. Shh. A needle is just a wedge all the way around. The needle is a sharp point. Shh. Wait, how is that really? a needle? Oh. You're on video. You know that, right? Technically, you're on video. He's just, 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 you're not in the video, right. so you need so to stay needle. in the floor. A needle is a wedge all the way around. I can see your hand. So that it, when you puncture something, it gets wider toward the top, creating a larger uh, oh, um, hole. So it splits it open. It punctures it. Right? A screw is a what? The twist. Now, what is a screw? A wedge with a screw and a what? twisted wedge. An incline plane. A screw is around a, a screw is new object. Cylinder. Around an item. Click to the next. Screw one. is like a wedge. Okay. Next. The closer the threads are together, the greater the screw's mechanical advantage. So click to the next one. Shh, guys. These are threads. The closer they are together, the greater the mechanical advantage. All right, we can see the threads again spaced out. But how well the machine works, how much it amplifies the amount of effort you put into it. If they're closer together, therefore it's going to be shared more. Just like we were talking about the suspension bridge. They have the lines. The closer they are together, the more work that's spread out among them. It's not all based on just individual threads. They work as a whole, as a group. Next. Okay? We use um, screws for drilling, all that fun stuff. Alright? What we're going to get into, this is what the whole thing's about, is the Rube Goldberg experiment. Alright? This guy liked to take simple, everyday tasks and make them as complicated as possible. For instance, Wiping his face after taking a sip of soup. This is how it works. He, he takes a sip of soup. That string pulls on the other lever. That pops a cracker into the air. The bird grabs the cracker. That dumps over the food into the bucket. The food dumps into the bucket, pulls the lever down, opens up the box. The box opening lights the fuse to the firework. The firework shoots off, cuts the string, allows for the napkin to fly under, and wipe his mouth. Okay? But it doesn't even work. It just touches it, and you'll still have more there. Or it just smacks him in the face. It's still a complicated... Then why would you put the clock there? You missed. Because the clock has the ticker back and forth. And then he has to reset it. Yes, What if he gets smacked in the face?